Hey, hello, how y'all doing? And welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got some mouth-watering, cozy fall recipes to share with y'all today. These dishes are perfect for the cozy night. For the sweater weather, we'll start with a creamy tomato chicken with bacon and spinach. Now, I had to start it off with this one, honey, because this was both my husband and I's favorite, honey, favorite, favorite dish that I made for this video. Now, that's not to say that the other ones are lacking in any way, but baby, this one right here was it. So we're gonna start by cooking some bacon in a skillet until it's nice and crispy. Then we're gonna remove that, set it aside. And in that same skillet, we're gonna cook some chicken breast until that is golden brown. Now, baby, the recipe is gonna say one thing, honey, but I can tell you right now, honey, boo boo. Season that chicken the way you season chicken, okay? Season that chicken the way that you season chicken, okay? Now this is giving Italian vibes a little bit, so just keep that in mind, but season that chicken like you typically season chicken, okay? Then you might see me over to the side cutting up the garlic. You're gonna dice up some garlic all right, so then we're going to remove the chicken. And we're going to add in our cut up garlic and our onion. And we're going to let that get nice and tender and fragrant. It was looking a little dry in that pan, so I just uh, I was just gonna spray a little bit more spray. Okay. Now, once your veggies is nice and tender, you gonna go ahead and season your veggies, and then stir it up real nice. Let that cook for about a minute. Then you are gonna add in your chicken broth. You gonna stir that up. Let it cook for about another minute. Then you wanna go ahead and add in your spinach. You only need 10 ounces of spinach, however this bag was 12 ounces of spinach. So I said, might as well, might as well dump that thing in there. And so you're gonna stir that around, let that cook, let that welt down. Then add in your chicken. I added in some little bacon bits some more seasoning and then i dumped in my tomato soup my condensed tomato soup i know the recipe says one thing but baby tomato soup then add in your cream and stir that up real good real nice and baby we we done we done you gonna add your toppings to serve now this next recipe is a potato and broccoli cheddar soup. Now the twist is we gonna serve the soup inside acorn squash. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm making robberies. Do I actually want to recommend this to someone? I don't know at this point in my life. Okay, I just got all the way through, but it's like now what? Don't do that, like it's bell peppers. You need help, baby? You just want me to do it? Okay, cool. I'm scared to even take this out. Oh my belly. Do I need to do it with two knives? Have you ever seen someone do this before? Have you ever seen it? And is this supposed to be this juicy? Is this even good? Like what is literally happening? Okay, intermission. Intermission. Okay, and then I wash the hands. Why are you mad? Because I told you to leave his stuff alone? It's not yours, baby. Okay. I am so... Oh, it's going to be 8 o'clock before I even get this done. This dude here. Oh, child. I did have this sitting on the old I'm just clearly slow. And this is so bad. I could have done it where I first marked it. Okay, we're making 
in progress, but will this look absolutely crazy on the on the video that I'm trying to do? It absolutely will. What do you need, Hezekiah? What you need? Jesus, don't have me stab myself. What you need, baby? Okay, I thought hey Bear was gonna be a hit, but apparently no. Just a lot of thoughts are going wrong today. What's going on, baby? At this point, <laughs> at this point in my life. I might make this a chili because that's just very dump and go, honey. But I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Broccoli cheddar, potato soup, chili, or this is so badly cut at this point. Like, look at this small A bowl is gonna be. But it'll be my bowl. It's perfectly fine. That's what you get whenever you do Walmart delivery for produce. It's all good. You get a tiny but cute with character vegetable along a medium size. Okay, believe it or not, we're like halfway through this thing. If I could just rip it. What's going on, baby? Then I accidentally oiled it up, so it's not making the grip any better. What's going on, baby? Oh my god. Okay, one more 
quit banging on the other countertop. It's just <laughs> Now let this recipe serve as pure inspiration because Walmart had a different thing in mind. So make you any type of stuff and any type of filling and then put it inside this squash bowl. I'm telling you, it's going to be real good. So I'll add that in. I want that garlic to marinate and then I'm going to probably go ahead and uh, I might do one more stick of celery. I don't know what I was saying, child. What you need, baby? You need help? You mad? What happened? Do you need help? Or are you just upset? Okay, that's definitely enough celery. Okay, then I'm gonna use this peeler. I'm gonna try to peel out the outside layer. Literally, Halloween throws me off because everybody be so ready for Halloween, and then literally a week later it's my birthday, and then next thing you know, you gotta prepare for Thanksgiving. Then you got there Black Friday shopping, and then it's Christmas. It's just it goes by quickly after that. And just scoot that off to the side. Do y'all care to be looking at uh, this pitiful when y'all be trying to get <laughs> or is it just me? That's totally fun. Alright, so if you're telling me he hungry, what did I do with that block of cheese, y'all? What did I do? 
All right, let's finally clean up our area, honey. Because if I was in somebody's kitchen, they would gas. Give me a second, honey. The scones or the top. And then we'll add in the other cheese and milk as we go along with the get along. I'm gonna save these scraps for the neighborhood dog. I gotta make friends with the neighborhood dog, so get him some good old vegetables. Give me that. How I mean in the you can be in a back saying, give me, give me, give me. I'm trying to turn down the temperature so we're not bubbling out of control. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some paprika. Probably always more than you would, but that's fine. Some cayenne because everything is spicy in my house. Some of that vegetable stays in there. Some black pepper for now, and then we'll taste it, and then I'll grab some of the black onions for sure when it's all done. Again, probably more black pepper than you would probably do, but I will need some black pepper. Yeah, me and Spice go together real good. Oh yes, I am so happy that I made this. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but so far, I'm real happy. Watch out, baby. Hot, watch out. Uh, 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 it's hot. That's okay if you mad, but you're not burnt up, which is you, what you gonna be. I usually don't use salt, but I feel like when you use cheese, when you cook with cheese, even though it's salty, you need a little, you need a little bit of salt. To, to bring it out some more. Am I right or am I wrong? Just a little bit. We ain't going crazy. Because I really don't be cooking with salt like that no more. Because it really don't be needing it unless it's to unlock the flavors. Let me turn down the thing because the colors are a little... There we go. That might be a little better. It might be dramatic, but now you can really see the color of everything. It don't matter what I'm doing, but my ISO, my white balance or whatever, is always gonna be pretty much negative. Pretty much, pretty much. But some stuff just be overexposed. When you smile, can this bowl be seen, burly? Oh, looking so good. We're gonna top with a little bit of change. It's real pathetic. So I'm gonna just use the part that look good. And it's gonna be nice and crunchy. I need to start hand washing these scissors because, oh my gosh. Okay, I got low battery. Let's go ahead and be wise. It's nice and melty. Oh my goodness, somebody say bon appetit, honey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me go serve this to my husband and I'll be rock. Right. But look at it. Should I not put it in a bowl? Like I said, I did crack it, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay. I gotta kind of tilt it a little bit. Y'all finna see the behind the scene, behind the scene. Okay, and then in reality, I'm finna put this back in the bowl. Cause I did crack it, and I'm not trying to make it fall. Here you go, baby. Here. You're so extra, it's ridiculous. Funny, now this next recipe is a close number two spot top contender. I'm not even a seafood girl, but this right here, add it to your recipe book right now. This right here is gonna be a pumpkin shrimp vegetable curry soup. Y'all, it's so good. So. For a nice little warm spicy dish put a little asterisk on that spice because maybe the seasoning is up to you this is one of our most expensive recipes with the cost coming at $7.96 per serving the prep time is about 15 minutes of preparing your vegetables and getting your ingredients out and then about 15 minute cook time so it is a quick delicious and well worth the cost meal to be spending about eight dollars you're gonna spend about eight dollars at a fast food restaurant and it's not gonna be hitting like this 
I'm not an overkill with, it, with the oil. What makes this recipe so simple is pretty much a dump and wait. You're gonna saute your onions, garlic, and ginger until fragrant. Then you're gonna add in your curry, pumpkin puree, and milk, and let that simmer. Then you're gonna toss in your vegetables and your shrimp and cook until they get nice and tender. Y'all yeah, better come on, I got about five more seconds of me holding my hand up. Oh boy. <laughs> So yeah, it'll tell you how much. Okay. Oh, oh. We cannot make this up. We cannot make this up. We cannot make this up. Now you can just squeeze some lime juice and garnish it with some cilantro and serve it hot as is as a nice little soupy soup. But a girl like me had to go ahead and add in some rice and then fill up my bowl. And baby, that allowed us to double or even triple the amount of servings. And then you'll see that I actually forgot the carrots. So don't do that. Add them carrots in with the rest of the vegetables. If you are interested in seeing the behind the scenes for some of these dishes, I did go live for most of these dishes that I'm sharing. So feel free to go back. I'm pretty sure they're titled something like In the Kitchen with Amber Bear. So just, you know what I'm saying. Just go check it out. You're going to see the camera fall and everything. All the good stuff. All that fun conversation. All of them good songs we've been singing together go check that out now i plan to make at least four dinners a breakfast and a dessert but honey here we are so <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset so here's a quick and easy breakfast taco recipe so as you've seen i cooked my chorizo and i have some tortillas frying to the side season your eggs the way you like to season your eggs honey and then if you want to make it nice and spiff it up add in your cilantro and some green onions up in that thing and then go ahead and cook your eggs up Then you want to add in your chorizo. And I love me some cheese now. I love me some cheese. So you're gonna see me add in a nice little help in the cheese alongside another nice little help in the cheese. And then as you are scooping up your spoonful of taco mix, I also have my tortilla glue. And so it is just some flour and some water. You're going to whip that up till you get a paste-like consistency. And then I just spoon that on the edge of my tacos. And then I press it over and seal it. Now leave some room on the edges. Don't be like me and just plop your filling down on the edge of the tortilla to where you can properly seal your tacos. I'm just gonna cook. I'm just gonna cook. I'm just gonna cook. Now this final dish was actually a request made by my husband, a cheesy chicken broccoli casserole. Now this is a proud pleaser not just for the people eating on it, but for the cook, honey. Although this dish is a 40 minute cook time, baby, it's a five minute prep time. This one right here is the dump and go you was waiting for. 
you are going to cut up some chicken breast or you can use the Walmart app and it will tell you to get the pre-cut chicken breast bites. You can once again season your chicken the way you want to season your chicken. But because I added in the Nor's cheddar broccoli rice sides, I didn't want to season it too much. You don't want to be too heavy handed. But if you just want to add in your spices, your little additives, go on and do that. Add in your chicken broth, or in my case, your condensed chicken So honey. Anytime I'm making something with chicken and it's asking for broth, honey, oh yeah, 80% of the time I'm using that condensed chicken soup, honey. And then your three and a half cup mixture of water and milk. And then you're going to let that bake in the oven for 30 minutes. Then you will remove the dish from the oven and you can add in some fresh broccoli and cheese and let it bake for another 10 minutes. Now I had some romaine lettuce that I was using for tuna salad wraps. Oh baby, I made some tuna salad wrap and some chicken wrap oh baby it was so good however baby the lettuce that i had left over was getting real soft and real wilted so we had to bring it out to make us a little side salad so i cut up my lettuce into bite-sized pieces got out a little red onion chopped that up added in some of my sorry wilted green onions along with some sunflower seeds and some bacon bites and then of course I had to bring out my vegetable seasoning and sprinkle that on top of the salad and you can have it just like that or if you need to have you some dressing child go ahead and have you a little bit of dressing a little dab of ranch ain't gonna hurt nobody <laughs> 